Hey everybody, today I'm going to build the smallest, lightest, cheapest portable power station you've probably ever seen. Ready? Let's get after it. This is the Watt Cycle 100 amp hour mini 12 volt battery. I cannot believe how tiny this thing is. It, it, it's the size of my 50 amp. I, I just can't believe it. 500 watt Best Tech Pure Sine Wave Inverter. Love this thing. Little pieces of Velcro. Longest part is getting the back off the Velcro. Okay, inverter. Going down. Now, I've got my eight gauge jumpers. And I will use a screwdriver to actually tighten these all the way. And then these ginormous zip ties, you get at Home Depot, Harbor Freight. Just to be on the safe side. Done. It doesn't get any simpler than that. So what you've ended up with is a 1,280 watt hour battery and a 500 watt pure sine wave inverter together in one little itty bitty package. This battery happens to have Bluetooth in it. I'll show you the app here in a second so I can actually watch the discharge status as the inverter is running, just like on an EcoFlow Delta. The uh, inverter is giving me enough power to uh, run lights and fans. It's not going to kick on a refrigerator, not going to kick on a chest freezer. There isn't enough surge capacity. Battery wouldn't last very long anyway. But to uh, take a camping or picnicking or use uh, just kind of around the house, it's really just that simple. You'll notice that there's no way to charge this thing in this uh, device I've just put together. And that's one of the reasons why it's so cheap and also one of the reasons why it's so small. I leave that out because it's up to you to decide how you want to charge it. So let's take a look at what I mean. There are three different ways that I can recharge this. I have the slow way, the fast way, and I have solar, which is kind of in between. So this is a NOCO Genius 1 amp battery charger. It just clips on with little alligator clamps. Like that. At one amp, that means it's going to take around four or five days to recharge this thing if it was completely dead. That's a long time. This charger was 40 bucks and I use it for my AGMs. This is the 20 amp charger from Watt Cycle that mates with this battery. So at 20 amps, I can recharge this battery in about five hours. That's much better. It's got these little ring terminals on it. So all I have to do is unscrew the terminals, put the rings on and plug it in and it will power up automatically and then shut off when it's done. Yeah, I know that seems kind of annoying, but that's how you save a whole bunch of money, just taking the screws on and off. Let's talk about solar. This is a Dokio 160 watt folding solar panel. Bought this with my own money, by the way. And it comes with charge controller. So we connect this to the panel. Take the alligator clips and clip on to the battery. 
easy peasy. So since we've got a charge controller here, it's not built into the battery, saves a lot of space, and this comes with the solar panel. You're never going to get full power out of a solar panel. So let's say you get 100 watts or so. That means it's going to take 12 hours to recharge this, which is two and a half days. But if you're camping or if you're looking for a, an emergency, something or other, then uh, you've got an option. I'd rather have a bigger panel over 200 watts or so, but uh, these are always on sale at a really good price. And since they come with a charge controller, they're even a better price. So you've got options of a slow charger, a fast charger, or a solar charger for your mini system. So I've got my pedestal fan plugged in. Into my power station, and now I'm going to turn on my little GoPro and open up the app. Okay, so here's the app. We're at 100% and it's in discharge. It's in discharge state. It's at 100% and in discharge state. And we are pulling 50 watts, about 4 amps. And that's about right. I don't have the fan turned all the way up. Show cell status, number of total discharge cycles. So I can watch and see how the battery is doing and how much power I'm pulling and how much power I've got left. And I don't have to worry about wiring an external shunt or anything like that. It's all built into the battery. That is pretty, pretty cool. So there you have it. If you need a dead simple power station for not a lot of money with no exotic tools and you got 10 or 15 minutes to spare, you can build this. I'll put all the links down below and uh, thanks for watching. Check out the Watt Cycle Mini 100 Amp Hour Battery. I cannot believe how tiny this thing is. And if you add up the price of the battery plus the price of a you of a Bluetooth shunt. It's an incredible deal and you don't have to deal with any extra wiring. Thanks everyone and we'll catch you on the next one.